Hey everybody, Blu-ray here, and I'm going to be showing you guys my PS3 game collection. Now keep in mind that I've done over like 61 unboxing videos on my channel, so some of the games you saw on my channel will not show up on this list, and that's because I sold um, most of those games because I needed money or I've beaten the game and whatnot. So yeah, hopefully I get a job soon, so that way I, you know, I could you know, buy games and whatnot, and not wor have to worry about selling my own games just to get money and whatnot. And some of the games I sold, I haven't even finished. So, yeah, so hopefully I get a job so that way I can buy those games that I sold that I haven't even finished again, and I uh, play it through, and yeah. So, uh, anyways, so the first game I have is God of War Saga Collection. And before I get into this, I forgot to mention that some of the games that I sold, I bought it digitally because it was a lot cheaper. So like with Mass Effect Trilogy, I believe I wasted like 40 bucks for a new copy of that game and I sold it and I haven't even finished it. But I bought it digitally for $4.80 through a flash sale going on on the PlayStation Store. So yeah, sorry to interrupt, I just forgot to mention that. So uh, yeah, anyways, so God of War Saga Collection, this is a must. For people who never played any of the God of War games on the PlayStation 2 or um, on the PSP. Uh, there's two uh, God of War games from, from the PS2 and two uh, God of War games for the PSP. And uh, only one God of War game for the PS3, which was God of War 3. But uh, with this Saga Collection, it has all five uh, God of War games except for Extensions. And I need to finish that, and I need to play... Uh, Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta and once I finish playing those games then I would have officially played every single God of War game and this game is fucking awesome I love it if you're into Greek mythology type of shit you will love this game um, my cousin Ace Cage is into that uh, Greek mythology shit so he fucking loves this game and the voice acting is incredible um, mainly on the third and extensions, um, the first and two were pretty good, but, you know, not, like, the best compared to now. I mean, it wasn't crappy or anything like that, but, you know, as it, as the game got better and whatnot, and designs-wise, uh, it, the voice acting got a lot better. But, uh, the guy who does the voice of Kratos, he's a fucking badass. And, yeah, overall, Kratos is a fucking badass. So, yeah. Uh, the next game is Fallout 3, Game of the Year Edition. I fucking love this game. This is, like, literally the first, uh, game I ever played. Well, not necessarily the first PS3 game I ever played. I borrowed this game from a friend because, uh, he has this game and he told me it's a really good game. And, and you know, when you have friends and whatnot and they have video games and they have games that you don't have. And, you, you know, you just borrow their game and whatnot, and they borrow a game from you and whatnot, that, that's how it was, so, uh, I forgot, for, I forgot what game I let him borrow, but he let me borrow Fallout 3, and as soon as I played it, I fucking loved it, it was the best game ever, game I ever played, and, yeah, like, um, the story is really interesting, and overall, it's pretty cool that you get to choose your own path. Like, you get to be a good guy, a bad guy, or just overall neutral. That's what it. Is. That's what it's called in this game. There's a uh, good karma, neutral karma, and evil karma. And uh, yeah, and apparently there there's gonna be a Fallout Four, I believe. I don't know. A lot of people are getting hyped up for that game, thinking that. Uh, this company right here, I can't really pronounce the name, and I don't want to sound stupid for mispronouncing it, but uh, uh, they're going to be having their E3 conference and whatnot, and people believe that Fallout 4 is, is going to be one of the games that they're going to announce, but I highly doubt that because they never, never even announced it at all. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a possibility that they may, they might announce it, at E3, but it's not like they even hinted that it was going to happen. I mean, we never, we may never know that they're going to be doing like an. They could possibly even do a fucking HD remake of Fallout 3 and uh, New Vegas or whatever for PS4 and Xbox One. That's a possibility. Or they could do an HD remake for uh, Skyrim. You never know. So 
for those people who are getting super excited for Fallout 4, do not get hyped up because it's a possibility that you guys might be let down and whatnot. And overall, it's a possibility that the game might not do well. I mean, I love this game. I love... I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a huge Fallout fan because I haven't even, I haven't even played the first and second one for PC. But, um, you know, I'm not getting too excited for their conference just mainly to hear the announcement of Fallout 4 because, like I said, it's a possibility that they may not announce Fallout 4. But if they do, then I'm super, I'll am i be extremely happy and, you know, I will pre-order that game. If there's a limited edition, I'll try to get that. And, yeah. <clears throat> Next game is Fallout uh, New Vegas Ultimate Edition. It's a pretty good game. Uh, it takes place, obviously, in New Vegas. And, yeah. Uh, what's different about this from this, it's uh, just the... Uh, Basically, in this one, there's no uh, good, neutral, or evil karma in this game. In this game, you get to, like, choose your own type of ending. Like, who do you want to side with uh, type of ending. And, uh, yeah, and there's, like, a couple of new weapons and shit like that. You get to uh, go to casinos and shit and, you know, get uh, caps, I believe that's what they call it. And it's been a while since I played the game. But, yeah, that's the, fo the form of money, basically. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much what's different from this to uh, Fallout 3. Next game is Silent Hill Downpour. I haven't gotten far into the game. So I can't really say much about this game. And yeah. And to me, my personal... Uh, in my personal opinion, my fi my favorite uh, Fallout... I mean, Fallout Silent Hill game is Silent Hill 3. That's just my personal opinion. I love that game. And yeah. The next game, it's uh, Dead Space 2. I fucking love this game. This is my favorite uh, Dead Space game ever. Out of all the, the three Dead Space games, this is my favorite. I love the story. I love the voice acting. And the atmosphere is fucking awesome. And in this game, it was sort of moving on to the action part. But it still kept its horror elements in this game. I When I first played this game, there's a couple of... Of, of parts within the game that scared the shit out of me and yeah and overall i i was probably one of those people who loved the fact that they gave isaac uh clark a voice because in the first one he couldn't talk but in this one he has a voice and he talks and shit like that and uh yeah but uh, the guy who does the voice of uh isaac clark i forgot his name I, I believe his last name was Gunner. I believe I just don't remember his first name, but he does an amazing vo uh, job voicing Isaac Clark. And the multiplayer is it's pretty fun, but it's only fun when you play as the humans. When you play as the Necromorphs, it's not that fun. Uh, fun, and pretty much the human players are kind of OP because they have guns and shit. So yeah. Next game I have is Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. This is not the Game of the Year edition or anything like that. It has some of the uh, few DLCs for this game. But uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite Uncharted games of all time. This is pretty much the first ever Uncharted game I ever played. And uh, yeah, this remains to this day my favorite uncharted game of all time i love the voice acting the story and the gameplay to it is just amazing i just love this game it's literally my favorite uncharted game of all time that's my personal opinion but yeah and the next game is uncharted 3 drake's deception game of the year edition this is a beautiful game i love it the story the voice acting just amazing but the second one still remains as my favorite this is not a bad game it's a really good game i give it like a 9 out of 10 but this one remains my favorite because you know this is like literally my first ever uncharted game i ever played and enjoyed so yeah whoops <clears throat> next game i have is naruto ultimate ninja storm and yes i believe you've seen one of my unboxing videos where i made a uh, rants were when I bought this game new it came in a blu-ray case and whatnot and that pretty much pissed me off But yeah, this is a really good Naruto game and whatnot. I love it. The, gr the graphics are beautiful and uh, Yeah, and I love the fact that you 
Oh, hold up. I love the fact you, you could do this. That was like the best part of the game in my personal opinion. But after Storm 2 and so on, they removed that. And I thought that was kind of a bummer because I love that. It was fun. I mean, if it was on multiplayer, like online, then it would make sense to re remove that. But if you're playing it with a buddy at home, you know, it wouldn't make sense to remove that. But that's just my personal opinion. But yeah, this is a really good Naruto game, and, and I cannot wait for the fourth uh, Naruto Storm game. And the last game I have is Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection. This game contains all the Metal Gear Solid games except for Portable Ops. And yeah... If, if you're getting, if you're interested in getting into the, uh, I was about to say God of War again. If, you, if you're in, interested in getting into the Metal Gear Solid franchise, I highly recommend on getting this because it has all the Metal Gear Solid games, like I stated, except for portable apps, and it's only for PS3 because uh, if you take a look at the back, like I said, it has a, a Metal Gear Solid which came out for the PlayStation and then it has Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. And uh yeah, and then it has the it has Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake and those two games could only be played on Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater uh disc. So yeah. I highly recommend on getting this. Like I said, if you're interested in getting into the franchise, pick this up. It might be pricey i believe i don't know how much it would be for a new copy of this uh game because uh, i got it for like 50 bucks i believe for this one and yeah so pick this up if you're interested in getting into the metal metal gear solid franchise and yeah that's pretty much it for my ps3 disc uh copies of my games and uh let's move on to the digital Alright guys, now I'm going to be showing you guys my uh, digital games and I'll try to make this quick as I can because I have a lot of games. So I'm going to start off with my first ever account that I uh, uh, created when I, I think it was on my, yeah it was on my dad's PS3 so yeah. Anyways. I'll try to make this quick as I can, like I said, because I don't know if this shit will kick me out and whatnot for being uh, on the download download list too long. But as you can see on the right hand side, that's my uh, first PSN username. So yeah, I don't I no longer use this account, but like well, what I mean by use this account, meaning that I don't go online with this account like play games under this account anymore I use my main account so yeah but uh, anyway so I'm gonna just go through the games I'm not gonna even bother with the uh, add-on uh, content and whatnot and yeah I'm not gonna even say the the name of the games either I'll just say good or bad or haven't played or whatnot but anyways so yeah So that's pretty much, I believe this is the only game I got for this uh, account, and that was, I got this game for free, uh, mainly, well, I think er pretty much everybody got this game for free after the whole PSN hacked incident, so yeah. Not sure that's the only game I have. I believe it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the only game I have on this account. Now I'm going to move on to my personal account. Alright guys, now to my main account. Let's see how many games I have. And hopefully it doesn't kick me out because when I browse through my games sometimes or my download list, I should say. It sometimes ends up ends up kicking me kicking me out. I don't know why, but anyways. So yeah. Anyway, so hopefully 
my username is blocked off. The reason why I want to block it off is because I don't want people to, you know, send me game invites to random games. And when uh, this is my personal personal account that I use to play by myself and whatnot. Uh, uh, sometimes, um, sometimes I'll use this account. Well, actually, I mainly use this account when I play like a new game, when I record and whatnot. But if there's a game I already play, I'll use my uh, Blu-ray games account. So hopefully my uh, username is blocked off. If it's not, then you know, just yeah, it's there, I guess. I don't know, but do not send me a friend request. I will block it off. I only add my uh, Blu-ray games uh, account. But uh, anyways, so yeah. Um, I'm just gonna go through the games uh, by saying played it, have not played it, don't like it or whatever. But uh, anyways, let's try to make. I'm gonna try to make this quick as possible. So yeah. Anyways, have not played, have not played. I played the demo. Have not played. Have not played. Have not played. I played a little bit, like maybe five minutes. Have not played. Played like maybe twenty minutes of it. Have not played. Have not played. I uh, have not played. Have not played. I play like maybe ten minutes of it. Damn it. Anyways, I'm back. So. I played this one like maybe a couple of times. Um, haven't played that one. I played a little bit of this one. Have not played that or this or this or this. I uh, played it maybe 15 20 minutes of it. Played it obviously on my PS4. I uh, played it, pretty good game. I played a little bit of this one. It's pretty good. I uh, have not played. I uh, played uh, only like I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of this. It's on my on my channel. I uh, played a little bit of this, I believe, but I uh, wasn't really feeling this. Play this one, got pissed off. I deleted it. It was, I couldn't even get past the first stage. So yeah, I have not played. Played a little bit of it. It's all right. Never played this one. Played this one. It's pretty good. Addicting. Uh, I haven't played this one. Played this one. Enjoyed it. Have not played. Played a little bit. Wasn't really feeling it. Uh. I played a little bit of Thief, Hitman, I played, I don't know, I am like somewhat halfway through the game, I'm not quite too sure. Sleeping Dogs I've played, I really enjoyed it. Tomb Raider Underworld, I played a little bit of it. I played a, a little bit of this, it's a really good game. I'm enjoying the game, oh I enjoyed the game so far. Play, Played a little bit of this, not really feeling it. Uh, haven't played, haven't played, haven't played. Uh, haven't played yet. Mm, haven't played, haven't played. Played, it's pretty good. Played, it's pretty good. Uh, I played this one, it's really good. Even though it's not uh, scary. Uh, anyways. I uh, played a little bit of this. I uh, played a little bit of this. It's pretty good, I guess. I don't know. I uh, played a little bit of this. It's pretty good. Yeah, you could play Umbrella Chronicles and the Dark Side Chronicles with the Dual Shock uh, 3 controller. So that's pretty cool. Play this one. I enjoyed that one. Uh, this uh, Devil May Cry game. I haven't played 1, 2, 3, and 4, or haven't finished the first four Devil May Cry games, but I will eventually. 
and probably will get the fourth one for PS4. Anyways, played a little bit of this one. It's pretty interesting. Haven't played, haven't played, uh, haven't played. I uh, haven't played. Uh, haven't played. Played a little bit. Played a little bit. Classic Sonic the Hedgehog games. Play, played a little bit of this. Not really feeling it. Haven't played. Haven't played. Played a little bit of this. It's. Eh. Played. I believe I played a little bit of this one. It. Yeah. I played a little bit of this one. And it's. Eh. I guess. I don't know. All right. Uh, no way. This is the one I played, the original one. I, it's, yeah, it's oh, it's okay. But uh, yeah. Anyways, haven't played. I uh, haven't played. Played this one. It's pretty addicting. Uh, played this one. It's also addicting as well. Haven't played. Played this one. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, this one I played. I really enjoyed this one. This one I mainly played. I played a little bit of this one. Wasn't really feeling it at first, but now I'm starting to get into the franchise. And yeah, and I, pretty much I have the handsome collection, so I've been playing it more on my PS4. Haven't played. Play this one. The visuals are beautiful, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, like the I enjoyed the voice acting and whatnot. The story was just, to me, was a little confusing, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Play this one. This is pretty much my only favorite NBA game. Wasn't really feeling 2K15. Uh, pretty much, it was re it was very glitchy, and the graphics were not all that great. So yeah, I pretty much got rid of NBA 2K15, and yeah, so this is pretty much what I enjoyed. I, I don't even know if I would even buy for the PS4, but I highly doubt that because I already have this one on my PS3. So, yeah. And it was free anyways, so, yeah. Anyways, played a little bit of this one. It's pretty interesting. Play this one. It's really, it's really funny. It's a really funny game. A lot of people don't like it, but I personally enjoyed it. Haven't played, well, technically I did play, but I wasn't really feeling it played uh this one it's eh it's all right i play this one really good game love this it's more it's basically a little bit more of an improvement from arkham asylum in a way by that meaning like the environment is a lot bigger and yeah i haven't played play this one it's it's very addicting i enjoyed it but uh anyways haven't played haven't played haven't played haven't played played a little bit of this one it's all right haven't played I uh, played a little bit of this one just haven't gotten far in the game well technically uh, part one and I don't know if there's part two I'm more than sure there is I don't know I probably recorded a little bit more of uh, Last Light Redux, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I uh, haven't played, haven't played, haven't played. I played a little bit, like maybe five minutes, deleted it, wasn't really feeling it. Haven't played, have, I played five minutes of it, didn't really like it. Haven't played, I play this one, it's pretty good. I uh, haven't played. Haven't played, haven't played, haven't played, haven't played, haven't played, haven't played. I played this one, didn't really, I didn't really like it. That was just my personal opinion. I uh, haven't played, I played a little bit of this one, like maybe five, ten minutes of it. It's eh. I played this one, wasn't really feeling it. Pretty much, I didn't really like the first and the second one, so yeah. Haven't played, haven't played, haven't played. Anything's in pinball I haven't played, except for like Vegas the first one, I don't know. Played a little bit of this one, it's okay I guess. Played this one, it's 
pretty good. Play like maybe five minutes of the game. It's eh, I guess I don't know. Haven't played played this one. It's pretty good. Haven't played. Haven't played. Haven't played. Haven't played. Played a little bit of it. It's okay, I guess. I don't know. It just not my thing, I guess. Uh, haven't played. Haven't played. I played 10, 15 minutes of it. Pretty good. Very interesting. Uh, haven't played. Haven't played. Haven't played. Played like maybe five minutes of it. And I didn't get far far in the game, so I can't say if it's good, bad, or why not? Haven't played. Haven't played. Haven't played. Haven't. I already said I haven't played this one. Haven't played. Played a little bit on my PS4. Haven't played. Haven't played. Haven't played. Haven't. I play this one. A little bit of this one. Not feeling it. Haven't played. Haven't played. Haven't played. Haven't played. Haven't played. Haven't played. I played this one, it's pretty good, it's basically it's just Super Smash Brothers but with PlayStation characters, and yeah. Haven't played, I played this one, really good game, love it, the graphics are beautiful, and love the powers, or the new powers in the game, so yeah. Play this one, really good, love it, one of the best little bit planning games ever. Haven't played, haven't played, haven't, I played a little bit of this one, wasn't really feeling it. Haven't played, well no, I played this one, but like 5-10 minutes of it, wasn't really feeling the game. Played this one, it's pretty good. Haven't played, love this one, love this Light Cooper game, it's pretty much one of my favorites. Can't really, can't really decide which Light Cooper game is my favorite, so yeah. Played a little bit of this one, it's Pretty good. I haven't played. Uh, need, I haven't played. I believe I played this one years ago when I was a kid. So yeah, haven't played. I've been playing a little bit of. Well, pretty much you've been seeing me play this game. So yeah, played a little bit of this one, a little bit of that, and that. That's pretty much it. Uh, haven't played. Haven't played. Haven't played. Haven't played actually. From now on, whenever, whenever there's just a Vita games, I'm just you guys will know I haven't played because I don't have a Vita, so I'm not gonna even bother with saying if I haven't played any of the Vita games. But uh, anyways, uh, haven't played. Oh, pff, I just said. Uh, ah, never mind. So uh, haven't played. I played it pretty good. I played this one, it's really good so far. I played a little bit of it, it's interesting. Play this one, it's pretty good. Play this one, it was this. Well, I pretty much played the first one, and that's what got me into the franchise, but yeah, I really love this game. Play this one. This is pretty much the only racing game that I like. I'm not really a huge fan of racing games. Well, technically, the only racing games I played was pretty much like Mario Kart, Little Big Planet, Cardian, and whatnot. But, I'm, but what I mean by racing games, meaning like kind of like NASCAR type of shit, or I don't know, just that involves just street racing and whatnot that doesn't involve like power-ups or anything like that but this is like the only racing game that doesn't necessarily have power-ups but you do have like a little fast burn meter type of shit i forgot what's it called but you do have that in the game but overall i enjoy uh this game i haven't played this one but my cousin ace cage got this game because he like I believe it was cheap for PlayStation Plus users, so he got that game. Uh, same goes for this one. 
uh, Ace Cage bought this game. I played a little bit at uh, at his house, and it's okay, I guess. Uh, played Minecraft a little bit of it. It's okay, I guess. I mean, it's pretty good, but I'm not a huge Minecraft fan. I haven't played this one yet. I played a little bit of this. I pretty much had to uh, start the game over again because I have no idea where I'm at or what I'm supposed to do. My all-time favorite Assassin's Creed game. Love it. One of the best Assassin's Creed game ever. Fuck the rest. My personal opinion. I need to finish playing Pirate Warriors 2. And yeah. I uh, played a little bit of this. I enjoy this is like one of my favorite games. I uh, play this one, one of my favorite horror games. Haven't played. Play this one, I really loved it. It's my favorite, even though it's pretty much like Dynasty Warriors in, Dynasty Warriors in a way, but it's still pretty good. Wolf Among Us and The Walking Dead have play I have played. Uh haven't uh well, I played like twenty, thirty minutes of it. It's okay, I guess. I play this one, it's a really good game. The graphics are beautiful and you, and you could pretty much they put in a lot of work when it comes to the whole facial movement type of shit. So yeah. Love this game, one of my favorite Mortal Kombat games and loads of fatalities and whatnot and yeah. Played a little bit of this one, wasn't really feeling this. Uh, I bought this for uh, Ace Cage for like 10 bucks, I believe. I'm not quite too sure, but yeah. This is his uh, favorite game, so yeah. I pl played episode one, I need to finish the rest of the episodes of Back to the Future. Played uh, play this one, uh, it's pretty good. Interesting story, and yeah. Play this one, uh, it's all right. I play this one. It's pretty good. Uh, not a lot of horror elements to it, but overall, a very enjoyable game. Played a little bit of this one. It's pretty good, I guess. It's nothing that special compared to Far Cry 3. I play this one. It's pretty good. Love it. I enjoyed it. It seals my uh, it seals my favorite assassin. And yeah, I play this one. I need to finish it, but overall, it's enjoyable. I play this one a little bit of this one, but I need to finish it. Played it, enjoyed it, loved the theme, and yeah. Well, I need to finish the game. So yeah. I play this one, it's okay. Not the best, but yeah. Play this one. I enjoyed it. A lot of people. I guess a lot of people didn't like it, but I pretty much enjoyed it. But I need to play the first and the second one. But I don't have a PS2 or Xbox, so yeah. Uh, I need to play it and finish it and whatnot. And yeah. I play this one. One of the best Batman games ever. But I like Arkham City a lot more. So, yeah. Played it. Sucked ass. Just nothing but a money grab. Well, it, you know, basically, it, it, like, get, pay a hundred bucks for Virgil Coins. This game could suck a dick. Do not get this game. 
It's free. It's a free game, but it fucking sucks. Love this game. It's a beautiful game. And yeah. A lot beautiful on the PS4 though. So yeah. Play a I played a little bit of this one. It's okay. Play this one, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not scary, but I enjoyed it. It's really fun. I put in a lot of hours playing Mercenaries, and yeah. play this one I played it on the Sega Dreamcast then I played it on the Nintendo GameCube and it still remains my favorite uh, Sonic game but my all-time favorite is the second one which I have so yeah played a little bit of this one it's okay I guess nothing too special about it I tried it didn't like it I didn't know what the hell to do I play this one. It's pretty. It's pretty good. Has all three Mortal Kombat games, and yeah. So get it. I believe it's like ten bucks. I believe I'm not quite too sure, but it, it's worth it to play the first three Mortal Kombat games. And yeah, that is it. Uh, that's all my digital PS3 games. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to click on that like button and subscribe for more future videos to come. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.